Hey, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me because today is a very... Stay tuned to Transfall Independent Television for the forthcoming premiere of part two of Impact, the odds documentary series in which this episode features a dramatic reconstruction called The Balloonist. It's got thrills, it's got spills, it's got pirates, it's got knitting, it's The Balloonist. You can see it here, coming soon, to Transfall Independent Television. The Balloonist! Mark you this and mark you this well, the following program contains flashing images. It's an odd pop film. Archway Amusements! Since ancient times, when the mongoloid ape first felt the soft breeze and warm ray of the sun upon its fat simian face, mankind has always sought ways to emulate the graceful air swim of our birded brethren. Look children, flying dumplings, flying dumplings, flying dumplings. I'm John Boutique, and I have a large chopper. However, early attempts at flying met with lethal consequences. Some say it was the primordial gods like Doris Blint who wished to deny the gift of flight to mere mortals. Many tried, many perished, yet there were those that triumphed, one of whom, the balloonist, we focus on today. The Principles of Flight Flying The Balloonist It is the 17th century. The high seas were plagued by acts of piracy. No cargo was safe from these villainous vermin, bastard buccaneers, corsair cunts. Oi, and yet, in the English the Dorset title. coastal hamlet of you, Bradley you know? Walsh, a veritable smuggler's sewer of brigands, criminals, ne'er-do-wells, robbers and highwaymen, something most rum was about to occur in the annals of avian history. Cut your balls off for a doubloon, sir. Oh, I am the pirate milliner. I make the buccaneers hats. Morning, sir. Morning, Mason. I think I've just invented the balloon, sir. The balloon? The sirens have shown me the secret of <coughs> balloons. And what be its purpose, this here balloon? So that I can be the balloonist. A balloonist? What be the fuck that, then? It be a profession most noble and dignified, the balloonist. Does that mean you'll have to give up the jolly life of the buccaneer, the crazy existence of the corsair, the pervertical, piratical nature of the pirate beast? I'm afraid so, sir, because it's more of an office job. Dear diary, I profess I am concerned with Mason's current mental state. He's the enchanted wonder snake of Jamaica. He is preoccupied by this obsessive urge of conveyance by balloon. This is Trevor, the little boy who lived with the seals. And if the makers of this feature can please refrain from cutting away to inserts demonstrating my fears, I will boldly continue. They be the twin snakes of further knowledge. I shall endeavor to pay him a visit at the experimental Armaments Research Laboratory at Smedleywood. And with the good Lord's help, wean him away from these madcap flights of fancy. The Principles of Flight Soaring Bring 
you doing down here then, Mason? This is magic string. I'll just check the tolerance. That is the correct magic string. Now I will attach a balloon. To do so I must wear a mask. Stand back sir, stand well clear. The balloon is ready. What you got there then Mason, another bloody prototype. The balloon is rising. Is it in the air sir? You leave them balloons alone Mason, there's piracy to be done. Is it in the air, sir? You could say that. Reader, I married them. And verily, assholes, with such practical origins, man's conquest of the skies had begun. Oh, look, it's Glenn. The principles of flight. Hovering. You too would make this noise if you had my hand up your ass. You've been watching Impact. I'm John Boutique. Good night and hope the balloonists don't bite.